Welcome everyone to Bayo Roasts Your Edits today. I don't know why he's got these goat looking back legs. I'd prefer if you deleted it right now, actually. This is the most yassified death I have ever literally looked at. I like how her hair is covering like two sizes of her head. Like her head is right here, but then Lord, it could be covering a second head right here. I lied, this is actually the worst blur shading so far. It's so blurry that I can't actually tell what I'm looking at. You <laughs> what what is going on over here? Like your low quality background, your PNG chains, and then just this awful looking scene, like get therapy. Dude, those lashes could literally be a weapon. Weaponized eyelashes. Yeah, that's the exact face I make after I drown a fly in my coffee, you know? All I want to know is how she keeps that dress perfectly white and her hair perfectly white as she's mauling someone's face. I hate to be the one to say this, but I think that dress might be too small. I think we should introduce these two to what is known as a shower so that maybe they could also be introduced to shampoo and conditioner and not look like they have a rat's nest in their hair. I instantly lose all respect for anyone who uses the spiderweb brush and whatever these streaky tears are. This is actually what is referred to as a modern day criminal offense. So you're going to jail now. Um, say goodbye to your family, sucks to be you. Okay, and you have just lost all your Picru privileges. All of them, gone. You're not allowed to touch any editing app ever again. Ibis paint privileges, gone. Photoshop, gone. All of it, get out. This is what I'm talking about. Like you take an already awfully edgy, angsty character and you just make it so much cringier and so much worse. Where are you even finding these overlays? Again, let's go through the checklist. Spider web overlay. Chains. Oh, angsty themes. And you're out. Goodbye. You know what? I at least appreciate you came forward with this one. I give you that. Dude, what have I said about gotcha Photoshop? Where, where is her rib cage? You know, I wonder if it's his fault. I wonder. Aside from that, uh, please never do these proportions again. Your hair is the equivalent to a long blue rug you would find in a child's room. I don't know what it is with everyone and using the fur brush as if it was hair. Friendly reminder, your hair isn't fur. See, here it is again, the, the fur brush for the hair. This is not how you shade hair. Everyone, laugh with me at the length of this arm. Oh my gosh, why is she scared and crying, dude? I'm scared, I should be crying. And if you want any of your OCs roasted, you can either show them to your family members or send them to my Discord where I look at every single image you guys send me. It hurts. I need you guys to start paying for my therapy. Y'all, I'm afraid she did that Grimace Shake challenge, I'm pretty sure. All right, and a three for three. We got the spiderweb overlay. We got pierced brows that look like they are just floating in the air. And an edgy theme. At this point, I'm just gonna let her snatch my soul because I'm not sure I want to look at any more of these. I didn't realize Gotcha Photoshop was such a big issue until last video. Look at this. What? It looks like somebody took a chunk out of her torso. What is that curve? Dude, look how wonky this gun is. This looks like a drill. And talking about wonky, what is this hand? It's like some deformed claw barely grasping this drill. Uh, respectfully asking you to uninstall Ibis Paint right now, delete Gotcha, and perhaps find a different community. Maybe the FNAF community, you know? Can you explain to me why the victim down here who's been beaten up is blurred? Like, was it really that graphic? Can you please explain to me why one of his legs is basically connected to his torso and the other one actually has a, a knee and a leg and a, a foot? What's going on here, huh? I feel like you could add a little more glitter, perhaps. It, it's kind of missing something, you know? Like sparkles, yeah. This might actually be, and I, I'm being dead serious in all my years, the worst gotcha edit. I may have ever seen in my entire life. Oh, please elaborate to me. How is she supposed to see a singular thing with all that sunlight coming right at her? Like, is God standing in front of her? Is this the second coming? Again, what is it with blurring everything? Like, hey, 
I understand maybe like a little perspective blur. But what is this? Why can I only see their face? Like, why would you edit their outfit and then only show their face? This just screams, oh my gosh, the first gotcha update came out. They have boba. I'm going to go edit something. So I'd really love to know what went through your mind when you created this abstract art piece. What's she doing? Like checking if it's raining? Uh, I'm pretty sure it's raining. Now this, this is just a whole new level of awful when it comes to blur shading. Like there's blur shading and then there's whatever this is. I like how there's highlights on top of the highlights. I don't know how you manage to actually make something decently scary as a gotcha editor. Are we trying to like make gotcha thirst traps at the beach now? Seriously, how low is the bar? Okay, the bar isn't that low. I mean, this looks pretty good. Yeah, okay. Sure. Once again, your free pick license has been revoked. I understand this was supposed to be shadows and shading for the hair, but it looks like that striped seam kid hair. Um, what do you do? Get like a little cat scratch or something? I mean, I see some stitches here and he's missing part of his horn. Otherwise, he looks pretty good. Okay, bear with me. What is this shading line here? Well, this is new. Instead of going in the direction of the hair strands, they're going horizontally. I interesting. Um, quick question. What is he leaning on? Look, Haas, I'm actually currently melting, so I can't really go on shift right now. Sister, that wig is about to go up in flames. If I didn't know who Kuromi was, I would instantly think this was a demonized Mickey character. Okay, great, here we go. Just about most of the character blurred. What's going on with this? It actually gets better now because now we're blurring text speech bubbles. So we can't even see them and then we can't even see what they're saying. I know this isn't part of the edit, but I have never had such hate for a mouth. If your mouth takes up 90% of the length around your face, you might want to go see a dentist. Okay, great. Now we're, we're just blurring the entire character. Okay! This one, he doesn't even have brows. His brows were so tired of him, they like died. And now they're little ghost brows. These two, also no brows. This girl, no brows either. This guy's brow straight up removed itself from his body. As an artist, I think I should support other artists. However, you gave me this to roast, so I'm going to roast it. Please quit art. Dude, look. Okay, I get the thing about some blood dripping from the forehead, but you just got stripes at this point. She needs to immediately fire whoever is doing her lashes because this is atrocious. I love how it's just like a fun, cute character. Like you got the rainbow shoes, the sparkly dress, the tattoo of the sign of Satan. <laughs> Oh man, this is not how you make pasta, all right? This is just not it. It looks like somebody literally just ripped off all of his bangs. 